Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Bantzit. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your PC the absolute safest way possible. I'm sure a bunch of you guys watching this video have heard all the horror stories about how it can blow your GPU up. But in this case, the way I'm going to show you how to do it is the safest way you can do it without harming your computer at all. So let's jump straight into it. We're just taking a quick look at my FPS here whilst playing Reba, um, just to see if we're actually going to gain anything from doing this, because obviously the reason why most people are overclocking their PC is because they want to gain FPS. Uh, and have a smoother gaming experience. So we're gonna see if this actually does help. So this is the FPS before we've overclocked the PC and then I'll show you guys at the end of the video how much FPS we have gained or if we've gained any at all after overclocking the PC. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is come over here and download MSI Afterburner. Just click the download Afterburner button and it will download to your computer. Bear in mind it does do two installs, so just let that run. Once that has downloaded, you can come here and download MSI uh, Combustor. Just click the download button. It will bring you to this page. This is the latest version. Click that and then click the download button here. I'll leave a link to this exact page anyways in the description below. And I'll also leave a link to this page if you guys do want to check out any of the other versions for it. So once you guys have got those downloaded, I'm just going to go ahead and open them up now on my PC because I already have them. So here we have the MSI Afterburner app. And then if you just click on K, this will open the MSI Combustor app. So you're going to click run stress test because you need a stress test to be running whilst you are tuning your PC. You want to see how far you can push it before this crashes. Uh, okay, we just move that aside. All right, now I know this looks a bit scary, but don't worry about it. We're going to jump straight into it. It's actually really, really straightforward. So the reason why we are running a stress test is because as you're bumping this up, you need to be monitoring this. Basically, if you bump this up too much, this will completely crash, but do not worry, it's not going to destroy your computer. What it will do is crash this app, and that is when you know that you've pushed it way too far, you need to bring it down a bit. I'm going to show you the settings that I use. Of course, if you've got a better graphics card, then you can use uh, slightly higher settings, but again, just you want to push it basically until this crashes, and then after that, we'll bring it down a little bit. But I'll show you guys exactly what I mean here. So we're going to start off here at power limit. You always want your power limit to be to the absolute max, so make sure you push that up. And you want to bring your temp limit to the max as well. My temp limit is 97. And now don't worry, this isn't going to destroy your computer like I said before. Just make sure your power limit and your temp limit is to the max. You're going to want to also change the fan speed. To do that, just click A. And you want your fan speed to be between 50 to 100. It does get quite loud when you get into the higher range nearer to 100. So I do like to set mine to around 55. Uh, sometimes bring it up to around 65 when I'm playing Warzone and other games. Um, that require a lot of uh, GPU. So once you've done that, click this check button. And if it's worked, then you'll hear the fans on your computer start to get louder, uh, which I've just heard now. So we can move on to our next step, the core clock MHZ and the memory clock MHZ. What you're going to do with this is you want to bring it up in increments of 20. So we're going to start off at 20. Click the check mark. And now this is where you want to start monitoring the MSI combustor. If you see this start to jitter a lot or completely crash, then it means you've put it up too high. I know that for my PC, I can set this to 180 and it's completely fine. But you want to bring it up uh, just in increments of 20 and keep clicking that check mark until you're happy with it. When you get to a part, well, when you get too high and it crashes, what you want to do is bring it down by about 15, 20. Um, because you don't want it to be sitting right on the part where it could crash. You want it to be a little bit below that so that when you're actually running a game, um, which is more demanding, obviously, than this MSI Combustor app, it doesn't crash. So for my PC, I think 220 crashes it, which is why I have it set to 180. I don't want to set it just below the threshold because, like I just said, if I'm playing Warzone or games that are, like, very demanding, it could cause it to crash. So I know I can set my one to 180. But again, just go up in increments of 20 and you should be fine. We'll click the check mark there. And then the memory clock... You want to go up in increments of 10. So go up by 10, click the check mark. If this is still running fine, then you're good to go. Just bear in mind, I'm only doing this quickly because I know how far my PC can go. When you're doing this, you want to click the check mark and leave it to run for maybe a couple of minutes to see uh, what happens over here. But for me, I know that we can run this at, oh, what was it again? I think it's 130 or 140? 140. I know I can run Malin at 140. But yeah, I'll put it to 140 because that is what I've run Malin at. And also, remember, click that check mark. And 
that is pretty much it that's your pc overclocked if you've done it correctly again these are just the settings i use and i am using a very low end graphics card well not very low end but relatively low end the nvidia geforce gtx 1050 ti you do want to save these settings so make sure you click the save button and then you can map it to any one of these so i'll click two and now that is mapped to two and also if you come over here in the top right corner and click the windows button this will apply it to start up. So as soon as you start your PC up, it will have the overclock running. You don't have to open this app every time and click on one of your presets. Um, I don't have this setting on just because I don't only use my PC for gaming. I don't mainly use my PC for gaming. Uh, I do a lot of editing and other stuff like that. Um, so I don't need my PC to be constantly overclocked. But if you pretty much only use your PC for gaming, then you can go ahead and click that Windows button and it will run it straight away as soon as you start your PC up. So now we are going to hop into a game of Rebirth and we're going to land at that exact same spot uh, that you saw the previous video in so we can see uh, how much FPS we've gained from this, if we've gained any at all. Okay, and as you guys can see, we have definitely gained some FPS. Just there we hit around 75. Around here we're at the mid-60s. We're in the same spot we was before. We hit 70 just there as well on the FPS counter. Uh, we're averaging out around the lower 60s to mid sometimes dropping down to the uh mid 50s but nothing too bad definitely have gained some fps from this which is great and i can honestly say when i was playing this game it did feel a bit smoother um so is it worth overclocking your pc 100 i mean this is a safe way of doing it it's not gonna harm your pc in any way shape or form so i don't see why not if you can gain some extra fps but there you go that is how you can overclock your pc that is the easiest and safest way i know of and i hope you guys did find this helpful and if you did then don't forget to like comment and subscribe I upload content just like this and i'll see you guys in the next video peace